from Brain Vessel with Jennifer Savo, and she does license plate artwork. So, where do you get your license plates from? Uh, well, usually I, I'll go to uh, yard sales, and uh, I also look on eBay as a good place for me to get my uh, plates. Um, and I have a lot of friends that know I collect license plates, so people give me stacks of them a lot of time, which is really nice. <laughs> Who or what inspired you to work with license plates? Uh, well, actually, like, a, um, let's see, my son is 13, so when he was about three, I uh, saw the, there's a map of the United States that somebody had made out of license plates, and I thought it'd be a great thing for his room, and it was too expensive, so I made it myself, and that's kind of how I got started. So I made a couple of maps, and then I decided I wanted to do something different other than maps, so I just kind of started from there. So when did you start, or how long have you been doing this? Uh, specifically with license plates, probably yeah. like 10 years now, I'd say, yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so they're kind of all over the place. A lot of my, I have a big family, so I've made a lot for family members too, so they've, they're all over the place. <laughs> have you done, have you had any classes? Nope, nope, I'm just kind of learning by mistakes and, you know, lots of cuts on my hands. And <laughs> That's nice. Yeah. <laughs> Do you use any tools, and if so, what do you use? Uh, well, my husband for Mother's Day one year bought me these. Um, this is kind of funny. These are metal shears, so this is one of my things that I use. So I just use a lot of uh, tools and files and shears. And... Explain your process. Uh, sure, so uh, usually I'll find an image that I want to do. So in this case, it's Uncle Sam, and I'll take oh. an image and then uh, I'll kind of take a lot of the details out of it, make it really simple, um, and figure out what colors I want to use. And uh, from there, I go to like cutting my plates. Um, so like, this is a, I think a Connecticut plate. Um, so some of them I'll use the backsides if they're painted, if I like them. Some of them, it depends on what I want to do. So I'll cut them and make sure they fit. They all get sanded because otherwise they're pretty sharp. So they take a little while to get sanded and there's more around the corner that need to be painted. Um, once I do all that, I kind of reassemble everything and kind of turn this into one of these things. <laughs> kind of. So like this is the bicycle that I did. Um, and you can see I just, you know, took it all apart, made it into different pieces and then kind of reassembled it. So that's it. So things like the flag I think are um, fun to do because I'm not painting anything, like uh, all the blues or the backs of certain certain states um, are painted on the back. Um, so I can use the backs of plates. Um, but the flags are kind of fun because I haven't painted anything on those. So it's actually, you know, fresh uh, plates off of somebody's car. Like, you know, it got all the rust and everything from riding on riding down the road. So, and then like some of the other ones, like the, like Abe Lincoln over here, he's a lot of painted plates, but if you look, you can see that he's all made out of uh, Land of Lincoln plates, so he's all Illinois plates, which is kind of fun, so. I really um, like this one. Does it include all the 50 states, or does it just have like some in them? Well, uh, in the case of the flags, um, I would, uh, you know, I'd like to try to incorporate all the 50 states, but actually most states have specific colors for their states, so. Um, so I'm limited with the red, white, and blue on which states will actually have those colors. So there are a lot of states that have white, but very few that have red. So like Maine, Illinois, Kansas, or Arkansas, you know, they will have red plates. Not many have blue, and actually a lot of the blue are, I think, Kentucky, Pennsylvania. Um, but in the case of the flag, there's not a whole lot of, uh, it's, you, you gotta look pretty hard to find the right color for the plate, so. Um, do you have a favorite piece? My favorite piece, like right now, I think is, is the bike. Um, and it, it, it was funny because um, I was trying to think of other ideas that were not um, like so traditionally Americana. And um, my daughter was singing some song on the radio and you know, something about a tricycle. And I was like, oh, I should do a tricycle. That would be fun. So that's kind of how I got started. Um, and the fun thing was I wanted to do a red license or a red bike. Um, and it just so happens that like Radio Flyer who makes this bike actually started in um, Illinois and all the red plates are Illinois license plates. Why is your show called The Road Travel? 
Uh, well, um, I think because we I use license plates, um, so the idea was um, that license plates kind of can tell their own story because they're you know they travel along with us uh, on our vehicles and um, they kind of um, every accident we get in or trip we go on you know they kind of earn their dings and bends and they kind of tell their own story so it's kind of fun to give them another life uh, in a piece of art after they're taken off of somebody's car so that is and that is the name of our event at Green Vessel it is on February 24th and 25th on from 7 to 10 p.m. I want you to come to the road travel at Brain Vessel.